just search your heart. Tonight. Because we are here for an encounter. And God will only visit, you know, a clean vessel. God will only, you know, you, will, you can only encounter God if your vessel is pure. I want us to just look, you know, look inward tonight. Is there anything that can hinder the flow of God in my life tonight? Is there any idol? Exactly, Bible says, and Asa, you know, he put away all the abominable idols out of the land of Judah. You know your own. I know my own. I want you to just talk to God today. That sin, that iniquity, that besetting sin, you know, that bad habit, that sin that does so easily beset us, you know, that sin that has wrapped itself round about us. I want us to ask God tonight to purge us. I want us to quietly go, you know, the theme of this program is reordering on the altar. We have come, you know, to ask God tonight to change our lives, to reorder our lives. You know, it's the beginning of the year. We still have 11 months to go in this year. 11 months and some days. You know, we want God to encounter us like never before. But first of all, we, mu we must ask God to purge us. So I want us to just ask God tonight that Lord Jesus purge me. If your own is anger, I want you to just talk to God. Lord, say, Lord, I'm always very angry. That issue of anger is really, is, 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 I can't just bear, you know, I can't just bear it again. Say, Lord, please help me. Say, Lord, please help me. Maybe your own is, you talk too much. Or maybe your own is, you just find it easy to abuse. I want you to just ask God, say, Lord Jesus, tonight, come and touch my tongue. You know, Isaiah, when he encountered God, he said, for I'm a man of unclean lips. You know, and God had to purge his tongue with his fire. I want you to ask God tonight that Lord Jesus, please purge me. Say, Lord Jesus, purge me tonight. Pray in understanding. Ask God. Pray in the spirit. Say, Lord Jesus, I have come to you again tonight. But we say, if we say we don't have iniquity in us, if we say we don't have sin, we say we deceive ourselves. Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me tonight. Come and touch my life tonight. Lord, I've come, you know, for you to touch me tonight. Lord have mercy on me I've come for a second touch tonight I've come for a second touch tonight Lord touch me Lord touch me Jesus touch me tonight in Jesus name Father we worship you the B parts of that same scripture says and renew the altar of the Lord that was before the porch of the Lord. I want you to just present your life again, you know, before the altar of God this day. Lord, please use me for your glory. You know, that old hymn says, take my life and let it be consecrated Lord to thee. He said, let take my moment and my days ever only all for thee. I want you to just release yourself, you know, again. You know, it's the beginning of the year. Say, Lord Jesus, I present myself, spirit, soul, and body, you know, unto you today. Lord, use me. Use me for your glory. Lord, purify my heart. Lord, make me holy. Make me fit for your use this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, you will walk in me. That which is perfect before you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Just present yourself. Bible says we should present our body as a living sacrifice. You know, pure, holy, and acceptable. You know, it's our reasonable, sac it's our reasonable service. Say, Lord Jesus, I present myself unto you again. Lord, use me. Lord, use me for your glory. Reorder my life. Reorder my life tonight. Reorder my life as I go into 2019. In the name of the Lord Jesus, reorder my steps. In the name of the Lord Jesus, touch me with your fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Finally, I want us to pray that the word of the Lord will come precisely to meet every need tonight in Jesus' name. Bible says he sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Let's pray that the word of the Lord will come like fire, like hammer, 
to meet every need tonight in Jesus name lift up your voice and praise to the Lord thank you Jesus in Jesus mighty mighty and exalted name we have prayed in Jesus mighty name we have prayed please put your hands together for the Lord as you take your seat in God's awesome presence Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The scripture says, Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Tonight, your desires shall be met. As you delight yourself in the Lord, the Lord shall give you all that you have kept in your heart and brought to this place in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to delight ourselves in the Lord with a song, with a short rendition. And it's my joy and pleasure to welcome Sister Buki Kainde for a special number. Please put your hands together for her as she comes forward. Please help me to appreciate God in her life. Put it together. Praise the Lord. We just want to declare the Lordship of the Lord in our lives and in this program. The song is Moshe in Loba, Oba, Oba. Moshe in Loba, Olua, Olua. Laye at the Lord, Moshe in Ibire. Moshe in Loba. We're going to sing it together to the Lord. It's very simple. You're going to flow with us. We have five minutes. Thank you. Moshe in Loba, Oba, Oba. Moshe in Loba. Oluwa, Oluwa, laye ati lorun, o se ni bire. Moshe yi loba, oba, oba. Moshe yi loba, oba, oba. Moshe Ilamba, Oluwa, Oluwa, Laye ati lorun, Kose ni bire. Moshe Ilamba, Oba, 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 Moshe Ilamba, Moshe Ilamba, Oba, 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 Moshe Ilamba, Moshe Ilamba, Oluwa. Oh, my God. 
Must have crept in, that is the thing we must uproot. And tonight, as we pray together, the Bible says, Every plan that my father had not planted, it shall be uprooted. I want to go into a session of prayers, and I would like you to give it attention. I'd like you to pay attention to this time because God listens to those who seek Him diligently. And as you seek God diligently tonight, your answers will be in your hand by the time you are going home. In the name of Jesus. Please welcome with me, Dickness, and your love for the Lord. She leads us in the first session of prayers. Please, can you put your hands together for the Lord? I appreciate God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm here tonight to lead us in prayers of thanksgiving to the Almighty God. If you are here this evening and God has ever been good to you, I want you to rise up on your feet. If God has ever been good to you, I want you to rise up on your feet. I want you to just lift up your hands and begin to give thanks to God. Today is 11th day of January 2019. I want you to just give thanks to God. Just appreciate God for your life. I want you to just bless the name of the Lord. The psalmist says, bless the Lord, O my soul. Let all that is within me bless his holy name. I want you to lift up your voice and give thanks to God. I want you to lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. The Lord has been good to us. He saw us through year 2018. Today is even the 11th day in 2019. Give thanks to God. God has been good to you. I want you to know that a lot has happened even this year. You know, a lot has happened. I want you to just lift up your hands. Just appreciate God. Don't ask for anything. Just give thanks to God. Say, Lord, I just thank you for my life. Don't appreciate. Don't say it. Don't ask for anything. I want you to just bless the name of the Lord. Exalt his holy name. Worship his majesty. Exalt his glorious name. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. He's the almighty God. Is the God that was, is the God that is, is the God that is to come. 
is the king of glory, is the I am that I am, is the Lord of hosts, is the mighty man in battle. I want you to just give him thanks for the victory he has given you. A lot of battles that you faced in 2018, he gave you victory. It's because God gave you victory, that is why you are here tonight. I want you to just look at 2018. All those battles he won on your behalf, just give thanks to God. You know, all those travels, all the traveling you made. You know, the same, in, all, in fact, people travel the same road you and I traveled. Some never return. I wouldn't want you to take it for granted. I don't want you to take it for granted. I want you to just bless the name of the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord. Say, Lord, you are worthy. Say, Lord, you are worthy of our praises tonight. Say, Lord, I worship you. Call him by his beautiful name. The Bible says, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. Said, I will enter his court with praise. Said, I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. Said, I will rejoice for he has made me glad. You are worthy of our praises, Lord Jesus. We exalt your holy name. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. I want us to give, sing these songs together. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy. You are worthy. don't know why you should give thanks to God tonight you are still in doubt of whether you should give thanks to God or we should not I want you to just open your Bible to the book of Psalms Psalms 103 why you should give thanks to God open your Bible to the book of Psalms 103 we are going to read together Psalms 103 verses 1 to 5 hallelujah Psalms 103 verses 1 to 5 Let's read together. One, two, go. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfy thy mouth with good things? so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. I believe you can pick one or two reasons why you should give thanks to God. He said, who he let all thy diseases? Can you just remember the kind, you know, some headaches you had in 2018. Some people had the same headache, but they never survived it. <laughs> I don't want you to just take the goodness of God in your life for granted. Don't commonize the goodness of God in your life. You know, enter his gate with thanksgiving. Bible says he satisfies our mouth with good things. So that our youth are renewed like the eagles. Don't take it for granted. Appreciate God for the food you eat. Don't, don't just take the food you eat for granted. Some don't have what to eat. Like I used to tell my children. They don't, some don't even have what to eat. But you have what to eat. You have water to drink. You have a house. You have a, a, a roof over your head. You are not sleeping under the bridge. Give thanks to God tonight. Give thanks to God. Appreciate his holy name. He has been good to us. Father, we worship you today. Again, we want to say you are worthy of our praises. Again, we are recounting our blessings. The hymn says, count your blessings. Name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. If you have ever lost anything in the years past, God is the reason why you have not lost your own life. But we say let everything that has spread, praise the Lord. But we did not say let everything that has money. So far you have life inside of you. You are a candidate for praising God. So praise God tonight. And give him thanks. Give him thanks with, with all of your heart. Father, we exalt you. We exalt you. We give you thanks. 
we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. If you are here today, maybe your husband is here, your wife is also here. Even if you're, you, you are here, your wife or your husband is not here. I want you to just give thanks for the life of your husband. As a wife, give thanks to the life of your, for the life of your husband. As a husband, say, Lord, I thank you for my wife. Appreciate God for the children he has given you. Appreciate God for your family. As a single, give thanks to the Lord for your status. That you are even marriageable, give thanks to God. <laughs> that you are not mad on the streets, give thanks to God. That you, you, know, you are even still expecting somebody to come and propose to you, <laughs> give thanks to God. That you are not sick, just appreciate God, you know, for the gift, you know. I want us to appreciate God for our different, you know, levels. As a husband, say, Lord, I thank you for my wife. As a wife, say, Lord, I thank you for my husband. As a single in the house, expecting God, you know, for, you know, expecting God to provide the future. Say, Lord, I thank you that I'm single. That I'm single and I'm strong, I'm not ashamed. Say, Lord, I thank you. That even I am marriageable, say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, because, you know, God is in the process, you know, of making our lives, you know, to be, to, to, to be the best he has created it to be. Appreciate God. Just appreciate God. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for my family. Thank God that your home has not scattered. Thank God that your children, they are alive, they are healthy, and healthy. They are not on the streets. Say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. Even for that, your little business that you are doing, say thank you. For that, your family business, say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. So let us worship your holy name. Limo sopra di hande boshete, lika boza, lika boshta. Thank you for my husband. I thank you for my children. I appreciate you. I exalt you. I give you thanks. I give you thanks. I give you thanks. I give you thanks. Give you things. Worship you, Jesus. Carol, we shut up. We give you things. In Jesus' name, we are giving thanks.